Hi, this is Sharon and Sammy, and we're doing a podcast on the laws of sine and cosines. So we have two examples for you to show them how they're done, but first we'll take on the law of sines. Basically, we should use the law of sines when there are more angles and sides, and the formula is sine capital A, which stands for the um, angle, over small a, which stands for the side is equal to sine b over b, and that's also equal to sine c over c. So why don't we take on a question right here. And um, so number one, we should set up your proportion, which would be sine 58 over 9, because um, the corresponding side to the angle is across from it, is equal to sine 35 over x. Number two, we should cross multiply. So the sine of 58 would be about 0 0.8480 times x equal to 5.1622. And after we simplify, we get x is about 6.0875. Next, we're going to move on to the law of cosines, which is a little more complicated because of the formula. And we should use law of cosines when there are more sides than angles. So the formula would be a squared plus b squared is e plus c. Okay, equal a squared is equal to b squared plus c squared minus two bc cosine the angle a. So um, why don't we show you an example of this um, on the triangle on the left? So we should solve for y and to set up our equation, we do y squared is equal to 89, 8.9 squared plus 9.9 .9 squared minus 2 times 8.9 times 9.9 .9 times the cosine of 63. So we simplify, and after you keep on simplifying and you use the cosine and everything, y turns out to be about 9.9. .9. Um, so we're reviewing laws of sine and cosine, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.